Yo guys, there's a new duel event happening on the 18th of April, the duel triangle. We have Fusion, Synchro and Exceed. Choose one of these factions and get a custom ban list. You can either make your own deck or choose from the loners that the game gives you. On the Fusion side we have Duel Avatar, a deck that spams the board with tokens and then fuses them into your dual avatars these dual avatar fusions disrupt your opponent on their turn we also have the new mythical beasts this deck is all about chimera the flying mythical beast your fusions become this while on the field or in the graveyard it's also appeared with a brand new type for the game illusions when any illusion battles the damage still goes through but nothing is destroyed and this deck has two amazing illusion monsters that support it. We have Mirror Sword Knight. Tribute this to summon a card that mentions Chimera Fusion. Also, we have Kotal. This card is card to search a monster that mentions Chimera Fusion. In addition to the retrain of Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, we also have retrains of the fusion materials themselves. Both of them, when summoned, will either add the other one or you can add a card that mentions Chimera Fusion. This sets up perfectly for hand ripping, milling, OTKs and destruction. We also have Dark World. The Dark World monsters all trigger their effects off of being discarded and get bonus effects when discarded by your opponent's card. But how on earth do you trigger that? We have cards like Ceruli which summon themselves to the opponent's side of the field and then makes you discard. We have cards like Graffa, Dragon Overlord of the Dark World, which will turn any opponent's effect into effects that make you discard. We also have Dark World Brainwashing. Not once per turn, if your opponent activates a monster effect while you have three or more cards in your hand, you bounce back a Dark World to transform their effect into one that discards a card. Fusions also have some spicy text to look out for. We have things like Shadol Winder, which will lock your opponent into one special summon. This might not hurt fusions that much, but it definitely hurts synchros and exceeds. Both need to be made by special summoning at least twice. We also have Super Polymerization. <laughs> you discard a card to fuse using your opponent's field. This pairs well with generic stuff like Garura, which requires two monsters with the same type and attribute, or Mud Dragon, which requires two monsters with the same attribute but different types. But that's enough about fusions, let's go to the Synchros. We have a deck from the master of faster, Jack Atlas himself, Resonators. This deck specializes in summoning Red Dragon Archfiend, blowing up all your opponent's defenses. We have Void Ogre Dragon, which negates spell or traps. We have Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, Omni negate on anything on the field. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, Bane, summoning back your big dragon monsters. We have Tyrant Red Dragon Archfiend. It can destroy everything else on the field, intimidating every other monster into not being able to attack. Also, during the battle phase, if your opponent is dumb enough to try and activate a spell or trap, you can negate that. Goodbye Meriforms. Goodbye Scrap Iron Scarecrow. In addition to this, we have OTK machines like Red Nova Dragon and the triple tuning Red Supernova Dragon. The ultimate upgrade. Both gain 500 attack for every tuner in your graveyard. And Red Supernova Dragon does everything that Red Nova does. Except it doesn't just stop attacks, it banishes everything on the opponent's field. We also have some classic synchro support in the form of Fable. These cards, like Dark World, like to discard themselves to trigger graveyard effects. Now Fable is actually a classic synchro spam deck. You build up advantage with cards like Fable Drain, which non once per turn lets you draw until you have two cards. We also have the ultimate cheesy card, the fabled unicorn. When you and your opponent have the same number of cards in your hand, this thing negates any effect activated by your opponent. And you also need to watch out for the Ursartics with the brand new support. Ultimate Bright Knight, 
Ursatron Alpha, which can summon itself from the hand and search any Drytron or Ursartic spell or trap letting us have access to our major cards like Big Dipper and Departure which both let you cancel the cost of your Asartic monsters allowing you to easily summon your Dark Synchros instead of combining the levels Dark Synchros take the difference so by using things like Righty and Lefty Driver you can summon the brand new Asartic Polar Star Polar Star summons your big Synchros and on top of that, it gives them the bonus effect of locking down your opponent's fusion and synchros. That's like two thirds of this event. We also have other decks to look out for. Don't forget about decks like Sword Soul, which absolutely dominated the meta. Don't forget about decks like Manadium. While it may not be at full power because you're missing links and cards like your Scare Claws, it can definitely do some damage. And now we move on to the final faction, Exedes. And for our Exedes, we have counter decks like Battling Boxer. Make sure to watch out for spicy counter traps. We also have our Tristina Tristina. It absolutely sucks, Dina. No, no this, this deck sucks. Anyway, we have our Evol cards with brand new support from the brand new selection pack. We have our new Evil Czar Lars, which is double negate. And don't forget about the Evitar monsters, which specialize in summoning these Evil Czar Exceeds. We have an absolutely busted trap, Evo Singularity. You can target one Evital and one Evil Zor monster, that's your reptile and your dinosaur for those decks. Then you special summon an Evil Zor Exceeds, putting your Evital and Evil Zor under it as material, giving your Exceed double negation. We also have our spicy classic dino cards, like Ovi Raptor and have you read Misk? Discard this card. All of your dinos are unaffected for that main phase. But we can't forget that another XZ deck just got brand new support. We have our Pirellis. This deck used to dominate them better back in the day. Thanks to stacking materials and bonus effects onto cards like X Pirelli Noir, which becomes unaffected and can spin back your cards. You also have recursion on your opponent's turn with cards like My Friend, which add three of the quick play spells back. You also have Stray, which summons your level ones, which can search anything that you need. This deck also came with a brand new card in the selection pack, Eparelli Noir. This not only bounces your opponent's cards, helping you go second, it also helps you set up your trap card, Pirelli Yeep which lets you slap on your boss monster, X Pirelli Noir, as well as helping you abuse one of the best quick play spells in this deck, Pirelli Sleepy Memory, finally getting its Exceed pairing. Pirelli Sleepy Memory lets you draw cards on your opponent's standby phase, and this is not once per turn, so you can slap three of these things under your Exceed, and then draw three times. Then, you use Pirelli Yeep, to slap on another Exceed, resetting all of these effects, letting you draw another three times. That's six draws. Draws into your hand traps like Effect Veiler and Ash Blossom and Nibiru. All your going second cards for next turn because this deck is incredibly hard to push through. In addition, we can't forget about our Zodiacs. Now, all of your Zodiacs can be cheesed out by slapping it on any Zodiac monster. We have all of our main deck monsters, which give these exceeds bonus effects. We have Dryden, which helped this deck be tier 0 in the past. You just quick effect pop anything. Also, we have the more recently unlimited Zodiac Barrage, letting you special summon any of your Zodiacs from the deck, which lets you push through your opponent's disruptions. Also, there's a card that wasn't even here when this deck was tier 0. We have Divine Arsenal AA Zeus, which can be used in any Exceed deck. You just slap this on any Exceed, transferring all your materials. And this thing has an absolutely busted nuke effect that isn't even once per turn. You detach two materials from this card, send everything else on the field to the graveyard. And Zodiacs specialize on stacking up Exceed building up an up to 6 material Zeus, that is 
three nukes that can be chained to each other and it's not even once per turn. Also, there's a card that everyone should be watching out for in the XE's event. We have F-Zero Utopic Draco Future. This thing can't be destroyed. When your opponent's monster tries to use this effect, this thing can negate and steal it. It can also be summoned easily by using only two Exceed monsters that do not have number in their name, making F-Zero Utopic Future and then slapping on its upgraded form. So, what deck are you going to be playing in this event? What faction are you going to choose? Fusion, Synchro or Exceed? Tell me in the comments below. And with that, I hope you have an amazing day. Goodbye.